May of 2012, I was hanging out with some of my girlfriends um, on a river and fell from a zip line uh, that snapped when I, we were riding on it and got a pretty large gash in my leg, which was then infected with Aramonas hydrophila. Didn't realize it for several days. Um, at that point, they realized that it was gonna be either my leg or my life. All my organs failed, so I was on full life support. And what happens when your organs fail and there's not enough blood, my blood pressure was incredibly low. I had to be put on vasopressor medication, which basically takes the blood from the hands and the foot, the extremities, and feeds it into your vital organs so that they have enough blood to function. And this is great, this saved my life, but at the same time, taking all of that blood flow away from my extremities caused the veins and capillaries in my hands and my foot to collapse. So while this medication saved my life, it also led to the amputation of my remaining three limbs. Through an organization called FODAC, Friends of Disabled Adults and Children, um, found out about the program here that um, was like an architecture program that knew a lot about home modification. So we were consulting them to figure out what we needed to do to our home in order for it to be accessible for me. Um, in the process, met Rob Kistenberg, who is um, in the prosthetics department over here. And I mentioned how much I wanted the eye limb hands, uh, a type of prosthetic that I'd read a lot about and I was really interested in. Um, and Rob also happened to be a consultant for Touch Bionics, who manufactures these hands. And through that, through Touch Bionics and through the Ambassador program, I was able to, to get the eye limb rev ultra revolution. So since I've gotten them, I've been able to do more things, do more things efficiently. For example, writing. Writing was pretty much impossible for me before. I mean, the most that I could write would be like a signature or filling out, you know, a tip on a receipt. You know, I can do things um, that I wasn't able to do before as far as grooming, doing my hair. Um, there's just an abundance of things. And I'm still working on getting other tasks and, and learning to use them more effectively. So it just has opened up a whole world of opportunities that I didn't have before.